All right, welcome back to another episode of Lone Star Diecast Racing. This is Tommy T, and tonight we're going to do another review on a track set. This one is called Race Case. It is basically a drag strip in a toolbox style case is what they're kind of going for here. And we'll just go ahead and get a little close up to the camera. You can see the kid here holding it. Looks more like a toolbox. And then you get a couple of pieces of track here on the top with a couple of really cool cars. And you got your little carrying case. And you get a little close up of it being an action set. And you can see that there's like a uh, pit crew on the side of this case. This is kind of what it looks like on the side. Here's a close up of what it looks like outside of the cardboard. And here's the back. Kind of demonstrates what you're going to do. Looks like this piece right here folds down from this. And then you add the two pieces of track to here. And what I really like about this is what's going to be really cool when I get this opened up. Is that instead of it being a two button launcher. It is a one button launcher that launches the cars at the same time. Which I have had a hard time trying to find one of those because I wanted to do uh, a track race doing that with this piece and as you can see here it is also expandable you can connect other pieces of track to the end of the track to extend it a little longer so without further ado let's get this open oh and the other thing here is on the bottom kind of tells you all about it and it looks like it came out in 2020 or maybe early part of 2021 and you see it's got a coal sticker on it. It was $9.99. But I found it out here at the flea market for uh, 6 bucks. So I figure I could uh, do a quick little review on this and show you guys what this thing is all about. So let's get this thing opened up. You can hear me tear it open real quick. I'm going to go ahead and get this started here. So you can... There we go. See, you can kind of pull the top here, just like a, just like when you're opening up a car on a on a card. So you just uh, pop that open like so. There's your cars. Let's go ahead and introduce the cars. Oh, another uh, another torque twister to add to my collection. I think I had one of these when I did the. Uh, uh, 12 Cars of Christmas episode. It was a Christmas version of it, but this is another door twister. Oh, it's got really cool see-through purple wheels. And let's see. And this car here is... It's got a clear bottom, so it's kind of hard to... Oh, well, that's funny. Clear speeder. So, as you can see, it's clear. Clear green wheels, clear blue bottom clear orange top. Let's go ahead and grab these two pieces of track. Set these off to the side. And then we'll just, uh, I'll just go ahead and do this on camera. We'll just rip this bad boy open. Just see what it's like. I'm uh, just going to rip it. I ain't going to keep the box, so it's not really worth keeping. Alright. There's the instructions. Box off to the side. Well, there it is in all its glory. I mean, you'll fold out the uh, instructions so you can kind of see what it, what it looks like. These look like black and white instructions, so they're not like the more deluxe sets where they put them in color so you can kind of see it piece by piece. But here we go. So you can see that it folds out. You can also put the track on the inside of the case. You can also store the cars in there. I'm trying to get a good light here. So you just fold it up. It's kind of like a carrying case. And here's the other side here. You get a case, two cars, two track. And you just kind of fold it out. Oh, that's neat. So this kind of folds off to the side. This is a nice little, little drag strip. Well, let's look at it. 
instructions can only say so much. So it looks like these flip down just like it shows on the instructions and then this kind of pops down. This flips over. Which I don't kind of like because the thing that bothers me about it is the pit crew is upside down. So that's very strange. But I guess that's just how it goes. So let me get move my camera further back so you guys can get an idea. So that's basically what it looks like without the track pieces on and then see how it sits off like this off to the side so I'm assuming it's kind of like a little little garage kind of thing so and then I guess you flip it like this and you can put the tracks in here and then you just close it like that flip this up Put your cars in like so, close it, boom. Got yourself a nice little carrying case for your little miniature drag set. So let's set this thing up for a race and see what this does. Uh, I've got a little bit of an idea of what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to add some stuff to it, but for right now, I'm going to show you how it works without the addition pieces, which I thought would be kind of neat if they actually had a um, um, a finish line. And I think that's kind of a bummer, but this is just a, you know, this is like a little quick little traveling case, you know, just, just for a little kitty fun. I'll try to put this thing together. There we go. See what I mean? These... Ooh, this is going to launch pretty hard because that, that's got a pretty good tight. But see, so you push this one button instead of two. Yeah, one button. Wow. That's going to have some power. All right. Let's see. going to just go ahead and set this up like so I want to put one of my little nerf deals here and we're gonna pull this back oof this thing's gonna have too much power I have a feeling <laughs> it's probably gonna launch these cars off the table but well here we go here goes nothing so cars are launched and ready to go cars are lined up and a little push. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's got some power to it. Well, let me, uh, let me set some stuff up real quick, and I'll get right back to y'all. All right, we're back. So what I did is I got some longer pieces of track, and I grabbed one of my finish lines, and you can pretty much get track pretty much anywhere. Um, I've even seen them at Dollar Tree. As a matter of fact, I think that's where I got these longer ones from. It came with like a little loop set. But you can just not use a loop and just use the straight track like that. And the finish line is actually a old 60s Redline era uh, finish line. Because it's the only one that can kind of fit to kind of keep the lanes closer together. Because the other ones kind of spread really far apart. And the way this uh, track setup is it's pretty close together, unlike some of my other sets that I've used. But you can actually find a lot of the, some of the Redline era stuff at flea markets or garage sales or anything like that. But that finish line, uh, I've seen them on eBay between five to ten bucks, sometimes free shipping, sometimes two or three dollars shipping. But, but this is... Um, Kind of a little quick little setup to do a an extension of this set so you can expand onto it just like you see here. And we're going to go ahead and launch these cars 
and see who places first. So here we go. And you get a, you have an option to do it one, two, or three clicks. I've got it on one click right now, because I think the three clicks is gonna be a little too powerful. But the good thing is, is that you can add longer track and go all the way to the third click and really get these things flying. So without further ado, let's get it launched. Here we go. All right. So the torque twister takes it. So I actually got some more cars here because what I want to do is I want to try some of these cars that have plastic bottoms that are really light because I've had run into issues in the past with using these uh, launchers that sometimes the cars will literally fly off the track or fly up in the air because the uh, hammers hit too hard. So let me reset the finish line here. So Torque Twister takes it for the win on that one. We'll set the clear speeder over here. All right, let's uh, try the uh, RX-7. Let's do it on one click. And the Firebird. And see how that goes. These are a little bit lighter cars, but I think these will be just fine. So here we go. Ah, Firebird takes it. All right. Go ahead and put Firebird here. And we'll take RX-7 off camera. We might as well have a little mini race to make this video worthwhile, right? All right, so I'm gonna click it back once. I'm gonna put the Corvette in right lane and we're gonna put the saline in left lane. We set up the track here, or the finish line. All right, here we go. We're gonna go and launch it one more time. This is a really fun little track. I like it. It's not too bad. There are some things that I wish would be a little bit, you know, more interesting about it. Like, you know, have a finish line with it. You know, I think that would have been really cool to at least have a finish line for, for the set. But, you know, it is a $10 to $5 set, depending on where you find it. If you find it at Kohl's, it's like 10 bucks. Or if you find it at a flea market, you find it for like 6 bucks. Well, there you go. That's a really neat little setup for the race case. So, unfortunately, you get two little small pieces of track, you know, about five, six inches long. But it's made to go inside the case. So you can just grab your, you know, take your, you know, take your track, take this track off real quick. Move this off to the side. And so, like we show here, just put your put your track in the case. Take these cars off camera because we want to put the original cars that came with this set in there. So you just pop her down like so. Put your cars anywhere, I mean, put it there, there, however. Flip that up, turn that, turn around so you can click it. Should snap, but. Oh, that's just how it goes. And there you go. Got you a nice little race case. Well, folks, hope you all like this review. Hopefully, uh, maybe you guys can find this out there in the wild, pick one up. If you uh, want to have a little carrying case to take with your kids, you know, take to the park or, you know, to a office when, you know, you got to take the kids to work day or something like that. Yeah, it's a really neat little setup. And that's what it looks like on the back side. So, well, I hope you all enjoyed. And uh, thanks again for stopping by and watching my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, stay fast, stay cool. Good night.